consulting conversations with Chris and Katie. I am Katie, the founder of Elevate Online, joined today by Chris of Evergreen Leadership. And together we created Leap to help others start and grow their consulting businesses swiftly, smartly, and with support. Today, we are talking about how crucial relationships are in the consulting business. Consulting really is about relationships. And so we're going to give four examples of why they are so crucial. So Chris, do you want to start us off with just kind of an overview of why we think relationships are so important and also like some of those key, key points that we've got? Absolutely. And we're going to focus in today on relationships as almost a business asset. Yeah. Uh, your network is your net worth. I'm using that uh, tagline some other people use as well. Um, they're extraordinarily important as you go through a consulting process with a client, but that's a whole different thing. But how can relationships help you grow your business? How can they help you get established? So the first thing is that when you have those trusted relationships with people, whether it's with clients or potential clients or people who can refer you to uh, potential clients, is if they know, like, and trust you, they are much more likely to say, oh, you should talk to Katie if you have that need, or oh, you should talk to this person. They're much more likely to introduce you, refer you, those kinds of things, because they know you, they like you, they trust you to have that relationship. They're not going to have that same feeling if you're just a business card, right? Or if you're just a website. So you're going to want to get those warm introductions. The second thing is I think it's going to increase your visibility in the sales process. So you're going to be thinking very consciously about building relationships through that whole process, showing up, showing that you can be trusted, showing that you ask great questions, showing that you're invested in that. But in addition to, so we've talked about relationships can help you get that warm introduction, can help you start that sales process. But a whole lot of things happen either in closing the deal or getting repeat business. Katie, you wanna share some things that we know happens when you've got good relationships with clients or potential clients? Right, yeah. I think you know just by demonstrating your investment in the relationship throughout the sales process, it's going to help you eventually close that sale. If they know you really want what's best for them, um, they don't feel like the pressure of you just trying to see it as a very transactional thing. I think you'll see that deal close. Maybe not, you know, immediately, but maybe they realize, you know, a year down the road, two years down the road, they've liked you, they know you, they, you're the one that they want to choose to pull in. So you might make it immediately, but you have that long-term relationship no matter what um, that they can come back to. And then I also see with repeat business is that, you know, that's something that I've had a lot of in my business. I've worked with one client for five and a half years, one for four years now. And I think the reason that clients stay with me is because I care about them. I invest in the relationship with them. Um, I'm constantly looking for ways to improve it and continue to improve the way that we work together and improve the work that we're doing together. And I think that clients just feel when like you're in it, not just for, um, you know, the money, but when you're in it, because you want what's best for them. Right. And that's what it comes back to. We're such like a client centric focused, um, we take such client search focus focused approach with leap. So, yeah. And I think too, just like kind of the cherry on top is that it makes consulting work even better. Um, you find it's more rewarding when you're focused in on those relationships and you have them over time. Yeah. All good reasons. Um, we hope this conversation helped you today. And we've got a lot of good information and free and paid resources. You can check them out here. Thank you.